hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making arrow which is absolutely one of my favorite cameroonian dishes i honestly cannot wait to share this recipe with you guys so let's get straight into the video Baby. Guys, our first ingredient is arrow. I don't have a measuring scale at home, so I put it in this ziplock bag so it'd be easy for you guys to estimate how much I'm using. I'm going to be using a bag and a half of the ziplock, and in case you're wondering, the ziplock bag is 2 gallons. Our second ingredient is going to be spinach. I'm going to be using 4 bags of the spinach. Our third ingredient is crayfish and I'm going to be using a cup of ground crayfish. I'm also going to be using some beef and kanda aka cow skin but you can use any meat that you have at home. I'm also using 6 cups of palm oil and that is because I love a lot of palm oil in my arrow. I'm also going to be using some pepper because I love my arrow spicy and this green and yellow pepper just have the most amazing flavor ever. Then I'm going to be using some beef bouillon and also some salt. Make sure you check out the description box for all the ingredients and their measurements. So this is what the dry arrow is looking like and I'm going to be washing it. I'm using cold water to wash it. This is what the water from the first wash is looking like and then I'm going to wash it again. After the second wash, I'm going to be soaking the arrow inside the water for about 20 minutes in order for the arrow to get softer. So this is what it's looking like after 20 minutes. As you can see, it has a nice beautiful green color. Anyways, I'm going to wash it again two more times. So all together, we washed the arrow four times. Two times before soaking it and two times after soaking it. And this is what our clean arrow is looking like. This is what the spinach is looking like. As you can see, it has all those long stems, just the things that you wouldn't want to see in your arrow. So what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be putting it in a blender, then I'm going to blend it. You can also use a food processor for this step. I just want to give a big shout out to my mommy, my food mommy, mommy Catherine, for teaching me how to do this. I know you're watching, so hi mommy. <laughs> anyway, so this is what it's looking like in the blender. As you can see, the blender has crushed most of those big stems which is really really good so once our ingredients are prepped let's start cooking as you can see the spinach looks a little bit frozen and that is because i prepped it last night then i kept it in the um freezer and then i'm cooking this morning typically if you just blend your spinach and cook it it will not be this frozen so i'm just going to leave the spinach on the fire to just defrost and then after that i'm going to be adding my arrow into it I'm going to be adding about 4 tablespoons of the beef stock and also some of the oil that I'm going to be using. I'm adding this so that it will be easy for me to stir the pot because when you add your arrow in the pot, stirring the pot becomes a little bit difficult. So adding these things will just really hasten the process. Then I'm going to add more arrow because I like adding my arrow in sections that way it will just be easy for me to work with. Then I added a little bit of oil again then I'm just going to stir it. Now I'm going to be adding my oil. Like I told you guys before, I like a lot of oil in my arrow. That is why it looks like I'm adding a lot of oil, but it's just okay. Then I'm also going to be adding my Maggi beef bouillon and also my salt. Then I'm just going to stir everything together. After stirring, I'm adding more oil again because I wasn't satisfied with how much oil I had. Then I'm also going to be adding some of my green and yellow peppers. Oh my god, the flavor, the aroma from this pepper is just amazing. Then I'm going to be adding some full peppers because what is Cameroonian arrow without full peppers inside? <laughs> then I'm just going to stir everything together. Look at that consistency, you guys. Look at that color. This arrow is coming together so well. It's looking so nice. Then I'm going to be adding my beef and kanda. I like adding my meat towards the end because I don't want it to I don't want to add it at the beginning then it overcooks in the arrow you know I still want to be able to chew my beef and just have that nice chew you know and let it still have that nice taste after adding it I'm just going to um stir it just stir 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 Thank you. 
After about 6 minutes of adding the meat in the pot, I'm going to be adding my blended crayfish. Guys, I like blending my crayfish like this all the way because I don't like seeing particles of crayfish in my arrow. After adding the crayfish, I'm just going to stir the arrow around. Then I'm going to add more blended green and yellow pepper and more crayfish, you guys. The flavor right now in this arrow, hey, <laughs> the flavor is just killing me. Once you add your crayfish, right, you let it cook for like five more minutes. I actually like adding my crayfish towards the end because that was what I grew up seeing my mom do. She said adding the crayfish towards the end just really makes the crayfish on flavor come out even more. And it just makes the entire arrow and all the flavors just come out even better, which is true. So I recommend you try this and put your crayfish towards the end. It just balances everything out. I feel like crayfish is just that thing that just brings the entire arrow together. Okay guys, this is pretty much what the arrow is looking like look at that oil look at that texture you guys you can't even tell that we used spinach you cannot even see one spinach inside here you guys see no the arrow no where the arrow see hey papa god ah i'm so happy you know even though you cook even though somebody cooks we still get so so happy when we cook something and it just comes out the way we want it to come out you guys this arrow is perfect perfect yes i said it is perfect make sure you try out this recipe oh jesus oh papa god I, I, oh, I can't wait to eat i'm making this arrow for somebody and i'm just so so happy because i know that they'll come back to buy more this arrow is so tasty hey it's spicy the crayfish is perfect everything is just perfect the pepper is just bam the pepper's flavor bam everything bam everything bam 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 <laughs> that's how long chris me but yeah you guys this arrow is just is phenomenal even now yeah i use big word that means that they don't bat this arrow is phenomenal look at that texture look at this beautiful texture look at that beautiful green just beautiful green Try out this recipe, do it, okay?